Today, we are gonna go on a road trip, but we aren't gonna make a single decision. We're gonna leave that up to artificial intelligence. AI has already picked a car for us, a ropey Mark III Golf Estate, and it's named it Scarlet Steed. But can it guide us on a road trip? And more importantly, will we actually make it anywhere with this heat? But first, let's see where we're going. But really first, we should warm it up again. We warmed it up last time with the big question. What are you like first thing in the morning? Not good. No, someone shakes you awake and asks you to plan their day. It's not going to be much fun, is it? Should we tell it to wakey wakey then? Yeah, wakey wakey. I'll let you decide whether you put eggs and bakey on the end of it. <laughs> wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. Oh, this is such an AI response. Don't you dare tell me the origins of, of wakey wakey. <laughs> the origin story of wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. Why do I want to know the cultural references, variations of this? And fun facts about wakey wakey. I think it's happy. I think it's good to go. Um, so first, let's ask it where in the UK we should be going for a two-day road trip. Buckle in, everyone. Buckle in. Let's see what it says. Cotswolds, Lake, Lake District. District, North Wales, South Coast of England, the Scottish Highlands. Okay, ask it to pick its favourite. Okay, here we go. We are going to the Cotswolds. Cotswolds. Shit. Okay, <laughs> all right. So now we have to ask it for a detailed breakdown. This is spurting out some information like you wouldn't believe. So we are now going to follow this blindly. <laughs> We're gonna have questions along the way. I'm not making a decision today. First stop, Oxford. Okay, right, let's go. And just like that, our trip was planned and we now had our sights set on the Cotswolds. Here we are, the open road. Just me, you, Scarlet Steed and an artificial intelligence. That's, it's the perfect friendship group. What's changed about this car since the last time you saw it? Four huge things have changed. And those four things are all four tires. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, we did put a new windscreen in this because there was yeah. a slight crack in it. A big thank you to the guys at Morgan Tires who, on short notice, replaced all four tires for us. This thing already looks like a sketchy heap as is. We don't need bad tires and cracked screen also adding to that, do yeah. we? The reason why I think this is exciting to get AI to plan something, when you plan a road trip, you think it through in your head, you know what's coming, there's no elements of surprise, but if you get someone else to do it, like AI, you have oh, yeah, the spontaneity yeah. of it. We've yeah. glanced at that list, we have no idea where it's taken us. Right, come on, let's chew some miles up. Yeah, chew some miles, let's get to wherever the hell this first stop is. Oh, he's yeah. done it! A duct tape shift. <laughs> We have very good friends en route to where AI wants us to stop. Yeah. And I think we ask AI, should we stop along the route to see our friends? No, can we? Please, AI. Surely it won't say no. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> As if it was going to yeah. say anything else. If you need tips on where to grab a pint or find a hidden gem, just let me know. Grab a pint? Yeah, we could grab a pint. AI wants us to get on the source already. I reckon the Cotswolds has got a pint or two up there. AI, I've got way too many miles to do to start yeah. thinking about the pints now. We've done it, we've already made one stop, it wants me bad. I, well, I can drink. Well, AI is suggesting you get hammered in the passenger seat <laughs> while I put in all the work. That's not that chat. Don't know about AI now. <laughs> so AI said it would be a great idea to stop and see some friends, but this would be a decision we would soon regret. One of the first and most important things we did before buying this golf was to do a history check. And now, thanks to this week's sponsor, Car Vertical, you can make sure you avoid buying a car with a dodgy history. Far too regularly, cars are crashed or stolen and they go back on the road looking like nothing has happened to them. With a Car Vertical report, you can find out their hidden history. All you need to do is enter your reg or VIN number and Car Vertical can tell you if your car's ever been crashed, stolen or even clocked. And you can imagine our delight when we did a Car Vertical report for our Mark III Golf and it came back with green ticks for mileage, finance and damage. Maybe we are good at buying cars. But here is a car with a less than glamorous history, a Bentley Continental. After doing a car vertical report, you can see it's got green ticks for mileage and finance, but it's got a yellow warning for damage. And if we click on the damage, we can see that this vehicle was marked as an insurance write-off. We can also see photos of the damage, and this has had a nasty front end. So if you saw this car come up for sale and you were thinking it was a good buy, you could do a car vertical report and find out it is in fact the opposite. So if you're thinking of buying a car, van or motorbike, make sure you run a car vertical check so you know that the price you pay matches the car's history. And to help you do that, Car Vertical are offering 20% off with the code ATG. Thanks, Car Vertical. You're the best. Who are these chumps? There's a sight for sore eyes. What's straight that? away? What is happening? All right, gotta go. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> this is shit. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice. Careful. Don't Wait. insult AI, it'll get you. This is nice. This was chosen by AI? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, you can tell AI is still quite in its infancy. So we were doing AI planned our road trip and... Did they take you here? We were coming past here, so we thought we'd come and say hello. Do you want to swap? <gasps> what about 24 hours in a Rari? That's actually a great shout. Are you? Oh, are you? I've been down for all three of us. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's plenty of space, look. It's yeah. a lot size. I'm a supercar owner now, so you need to oh, you address, me. Really address me as... Sarari. Sarari. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. Anyway, Jack, well, this is, a, we've, we've got a... That's literally all we've got time for. We've got to get on. <laughs> so, uh, Thanks for your help. Anyway, yes, uh, that's good, on. good to see you Where guys. Where are you going next? Um, we don't o know. Oxford, apparently. Yes. What do you mean you don't know? Well, AI has given us the list of places to go and we're sort of working through it. Are you oh. camping today? We don't know. <laughs> you actually don't know what's going on. No. All we know is next up is Oxford. And we were passing you, so we thought we'd say hello. Yeah. Here's your present. <gasps> yes! Oh, get in there. I don't, I don't have if you want to support my Ferrari and buy all the gear t-shirts, but you can't get this one because uh, it was limited edition. I oh, think we have another limited edition. Yeah. I think we could do a hybrid and get a puffin here. That's a great I don't think Ferrari will be very happy. will definitely be a lawsuit going on. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you... Fixing. Fixing AI brought you here for a reason. And it's raining. Oh my god, what? Oh, oh, oh yeah. my god. Okay. There we go. Do you know what, Rory? I thought you were going to mess this up, but you've done a great job. Wait, oh, wait a minute. He's up to something. What? Go <laughs> stop. 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 What? No, I'm going to allow it. Do you know what? Hello. Yeah, fair. Yeah? Yeah, fair play. Ruined the resale value. And, <laughs> <laughs> Why did we stop nice. here? I quite, like, I quite like it. I yeah? Think, I think it's a good idea. Should I carry on? No. Right, Jack, we've got to go. We've got to get to Oxford. Day's getting on. See you later. Yeah. Sorry, you're a Rory owner. Do you have some of this now? Um, wait. Yeah, Alex, do you want to <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate Rory's actually done quite a good yeah, job. Well, I don't like the honk if you're horny. No. Especially because I am horny. <laughs> <laughs> and you haven't got a horn to honk. <laughs> yeah. I would be going down the motorway going. <laughs> Um, yeah, was that a good stop? Uh, it was a stop. So we're off to Oxford, the first town in our road trip, and we know what our first stop is. It's punting. Would you like to explain to the people that don't know what punting is in the most eloquent way you can? It's when you... one of the worst things I've ever heard. Is that not it? Punting. Oh, punting. No, that, <laughs> that's not punting. Punting is basically going in a boat and a man steers you with a big stick. I was sort of halfway there. Not, not really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh, it started. It started. What a fantastic job. Uh -huh. Hey! How much of this are we going to get? Jesus mm. Christ. Oh, she is not horny. She is very <laughs> unimpressed. Yeah, oh, so, really? yeah. Oh, yeah, they're honking if they're horny, aren't they? Yeah, they don't honk. <laughs> they were honking if we are horny. How would they know? I thought everyone's honking because they were like, Oh, those guys must be horny. <laughs> that is so why. backwards. I'm sure the audience members right now would would be honking, but you can't honk, yeah, so, true. so instead subscribe if you're horny. And once you've subscribed, honk in the comments. <laughs> what is this swift doing in the middle lane? That's not very swift. Should we move over a lane and get off our phone? How did you know his name was Elaine? <laughs> but before arriving at Oxford, the ratty old golf had a little surprise for us. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> What is that? It's all the insides of all the vents. What? It's just all blown it to the front. It's good. I don't, don't want that. We pushed on to AI's first stop for us, and Jack was suitably impressed. Don't know if this is me, you for what it's... <laughs> Man, I, AI is a moron. I can understand doing this on a really nice, lovely day, but yeah. bloody miserable out, man. Why the hell did AI decide that a really good idea would be to go punt him? We've got a chauffeur back here. Your, your name's Billy, right? Yep, Billy. Do people usually book to do punting on a day like this? Or is it more when, you know? <laughs> no, I wouldn't have thought so, yeah. Do you know what, like, the seats, once you just get back, like if it was nice, this would be lovely. <laughs> Good attempt at AI, nice try. Yeah, 
we see your game. AI then suggested a stop for food. However, cracks were starting to appear in its road trip planning abilities. Here you go, in here. It's closed, isn't it? Everything's closed. Well done, AI. First the punting and now this AI. Let's get back to the car. Left or right? Hook or right? Hook or right? Jesus Christ, where did you get your license out of a cereal box? What the hell's going on? <laughs> I've got to get out of this town. Go into gear! Hey, hey. I'm just infuriated, man. What's up? Well, firstly, punting. Come on, AI. Like Come on, AI. Come on, AI. No, it was very relaxing. That's the trouble. Is that why you're getting so agitated? No, I, the reason why I'm getting agitated is because in order for us to go to punting, we go into the bloody lower low emission zone. Oh, yeah. So we have to pay for that. And also, parking for like an hour was 15 quid. <laughs> going to gear. I don't get it. I don't know. I didn't go to Oxford, okay? But I saw a dude in a tux walking around and he was soaking wet head to toe. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Am I missing something? Yeah. What is he up to? I don't know. Is that a thing? Do I not get that because I'm uneducated? Do you know where we're heading next? If this is a village that's name is in three parts, I'm going to scream. <laughs> where are we going? We're going to Bolton on the water. Of course we bloody are. <laughs> Four parts. Four parts, even worse. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is what 30 year olds do, Jack. Is this what, I'm, is this what yeah. I'm supposed to be doing? We, we might visit the garden centre tomorrow. What the f***? <laughs> Punting hit the bank account as well. How much did we pay for the privilege? £48. A four and an eight? We spent £63 in Oxford. How much is the ULES? Is how much is oh, the Oh, I, I don't even know how much that is. And all the f bloody 10 tonne of secret fines we're gonna get for going down a one way we didn't realise was a one way. Going to gear! <laughs> How much is the Zez charge? 14 pounds. It isn't. We spent 77 pounds to go punting. Yes. Oh God, I, I forgot, forgot, about, I forgot that. about that. Right, we're heading deep into the Cotswolds now. This is unknown territory. No man's been here before. We're being guided by a machine without a care for our wallet. What do you want for dinner? I'm not allowed to decide. This is a real opportunity here for AI to claw one back. We are going to the Croft restaurant. It's closed. God damn it, AI! You're hooked up to the collective knowledge of mankind, but you don't know what time it is. Am I being out of order? I don't really know how AI works. How about Indian cuisine? Do you know what? Maybe I was too soon to judge AI. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can take all this back. Yeah, yeah. It just happens to be my favourite food. Well played, AI, well played. Yeah, well, I'm going to get a chicken tikka fowl, no rice, and a chilled loo roll. <laughs> I love how we've turned up in this quaint little English countryside town in this absolute abomination with honk if you're horny on the back of it. Look how lovely it is here. After parking our mobile eyesore against the backdrop of a charming Cotswold village, Ethan decided that he wanted to push AI's capabilities even further. I'm gonna let it pick for me. I have orders you like 12 naan breads. Go for the Shakura. It's unique, tangy and citrusy flavor from the Shakura fruit makes it a standout choice. Fine. And after filling us full of curry, AI had another big decision to make. I'm just absolutely useless now. <laughs> what? Well, I forgot that. Well, we did have a choice. We just had to have a curry. AI picked yeah. me the hottest one as well. <laughs> I feel like a hot boy right now. Yeah. The other thing we need to pick is, I don't know if you're aware, <laughs> but- um, Don't say it. We don't know where we're sleeping tonight. It's 10 past nine. Way past your bedtime. It's 10 past nine and I, I don't know where we're going now. Where are we sleeping tonight? How about camping tonight? No, it didn't say that, did it, please? It's a great way to fully enjoy the natural beauty of the Cotswolds. Is it? I knew it was gonna say that. Oh, God damn it, why did it say that, man? Caravan and motorhome club. Book a tent pitch. Are we a tent? What are we? I didn't pack the tent. <laughs> is this this it? is it. Oh, it's here. Oh, it's closed. It's fully closed. Have you noticed that like AI keeps suggesting things that are closed? With AI now suggesting campsites that were hopefully actually open, we got back on the road to find somewhere to spend the night. The other thing we need to think about, you know, if we sleep in 
more cars together, people are going to start talking. You know, my fiance, is she jealous? <laughs> she wants to sleep with more cars. <laughs> she wants to sleep with the Lido 4. My concern is with sleeping in a car with you is I've just seen you devour a curry. I think come the morning, the interior of this car would look worse than the exterior. Are you familiar with Jackson Pollock? Imagine Jackson Pollock only used brown paint. <laughs> Why couldn't have it just said, get this nice little hotel in Burford? No, you're going to go in the back of a ratty golf. <laughs> <laughs> With concerns of what sleeping setup we could put together, we arrived at the campsite and set up for a night of luxury. Look guys, I'm as unhappy about this as you are, but I'm going to have to sleep in the car of the curry monster. <laughs> it's going to be long enough though, surely? I don't know. Oh, that's not long. No, it's not long at all. It is so not long, it's going to be so long. <laughs> This is ridiculous, the amount of cars that we've slept in on this channel already. How many videos are we in? What is this? We've probably, in a third of the videos that we've put out, we've slept in a car. This is completely unplanned as well. And because of this now, I'm now considering creating a tier system for the cars that we sleep in. 924 at the top. I can tell you now, this is gonna be nowhere near the 924. We need to test what this car is like to sleep in. Do it. <laughs> it's our car. We, we picked the wrong name for this channel. It shouldn't be all the gear. It should be idiots <laughs> sleeping vehicles. Okay, are my feet in? No. <laughs> Why do they not go forward more? Because when they were designing the Mark III Golf estate, they weren't thinking this needs to be able to sleep two men, were they? They're thinking let's build a car, not a bed. <laughs> Joe, I'm actually thinking. If you say about taking these seats apart, I'm gonna really be disappointed in you. Got my tools here. Let's just look at it. I hate that you had it to hand. <laughs> Ethan, this is a real slippery slope that you're doing. <laughs> Why are you at it? Do you want to put a new clutch in it? <laughs> it's so easy to sleep in these things, man. All you have to do is dismantle your entire interior. I am, I am extraordinarily sorry. Well, for what? The extra four centimetres you gained? Do you want me to do yours? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> also, shout out to springfields.co.uk who have sent us a lot of camping stuff, including these bags. Papa's got a brand new bag, guys. <laughs> And it came from Springfield, so go check them out. <laughs> Link is in the description. Link is in the description. And I'm going to jump the gun on the judgment of this vehicle for sleeping in. It's not quite the same calibre as a as an 80s Porsche, but a 95 Mark III wagon will do in a pinch. You only have to unbolt your seats. Oh, good night. <sighs> good night. <sighs> I feel so broken. <laughs> so I woke up to you snoring quite chronically. You're doing a great trumpet impression. <laughs> Wait, thumbs of curry in here. <laughs> There's Ethan doing one fart where he's, he's accidentally laying on his front. You should see the state of his sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> Now feeling like a couple of folded pretzels, we packed up and hit the road, ready for another day with AI in the Cotswolds. The driving experience of this car is so hard to explain. Everything is so broken, but for some reason it balances out and works in perfect harmony. Yeah. I imagine the pistons are just inside the engine going. <laughs> Everything's so loose and so chill. And it just works. It's really, it's really nice to, to drive. It's so gutless though. To the point, you know where a car's so underpowered that it's actually yeah, dangerous to drive? Yeah, yeah. You know where you're like at a roundabout and you could make it if you were in anything else, but you have to really pick your moments because you haven't got the power to move the vehicle. AI was on a mission to show us the idyllic, cosy side of the Cotswolds and so sent us to the picturesque Borton on the Water to grab a pastry and watch some ducks. Here you go, bro. Thank you, sir. I wonder how many times the word bruh has been said in this town. Could you live here? Mm, I'm not quite chill enough yet. Where do you think the water is? I don't know. Hey, look, 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 look this little fella. He thinks he's getting something. <laughs> no, I'm gutted. With breakfast sorted, AI threw something our way, which was actually pretty cool to see. This is a bit more like it. This is quite cool. Well, uh, have you bought me? I haven't bought you anyway. This is where AI bought you. This does look quite cool, this place. Where's like the Ferraris? And... Where's like the Gulfs with uh, Pops and Bangs maps? Where's the Slam D36s? No, Mission Man's bunting on bibs. Mm. Chuffing one down. <laughs> the perfect two car garage doesn't exist. <laughs> if this isn't your aspiration for a perfect two vehicle garage, what is? The Corgi mini bike and the car operated by handle. Here he is. I never watched Brum. It's so whack. Well, if you want to see Brum, you know where to come. Oh, wow, look, we parked <laughs> our car in here. Do you remember parking here? <laughs> what could be in here? What do we think? This is where they keep 
all the stance cars. I don't like the, the certain death element of motorbikes, but I like the style and steeze of like these old, these old ones. Like this, imagine dipping around town on this. I mean, you're gonna die, but this is where they have the exhausts that shoot flames out the back. <laughs> if someone said to you, make the most ridiculous child's scooter, the brown saw spot on wheels would be the last design you came up with. That was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really good. I mean, everyone has their different tastes, especially in motoring, and I don't usually like all the, all the older stuff, but that was that actually was 100% worth it, really good. Yeah, AI came through. AI did all right with that one. Did all right. It's got one more place for us to visit in Borton on the Water. Uh, okay, I don't think he's gonna top that, I think he's gonna struggle. Oh, okay. Holy shit, if this has got a phone in it, I'm gonna be shocked. Oh my God, it does. Oh, wait, it's actually Ricky. Hello. Hello. Who's this? It's me. Well, what does AI say we're doing next? Um, it says we're going into that model village behind you. All right, sweet. I'll meet you there. We're in Borton on the Water, and in Borton on the Water, there's a scale model of Borton on the Water, and in the scale model of Borton on the Water, there's a miniature scale model of the miniature scale model of the village Borton on, on the Water. And then within that, there is a tiny little model village. Yeah, and do you know what's in that? Tiny, tiny yeah. little model village. What are we doing here? <laughs> I'm convinced that AI just added this stop in just to mess with our heads. I like model villages, I don't know why. You want to be a big cop in a small city? F*** up the model village. <laughs> Should we reenact Hot Fuzz? Hot Fuzz, so we need, we need the tower that's to go through the bottom of your chin. <laughs> yeah. We need a swan. Just the one swan, actually. We need a Stanley blade. We need a small ginger child. If you haven't seen that film, you should go watch it. Um, right, let me just get this drone shot of Borton on the yeah. water quickly. This is going to save us a lot of time later. Fun fact about this place, it's the only grade two listed model village in the country. How's that for a slice of fried gold? This is definitely one of those things where I would never think to come here. I think I might have a new hobby now. I had no idea this was here because of AI. I do. I think this video is a great example. I don't think any of you probably clicked on this video thinking, these boys are going to end up in a model village in a uh, really quaint uh, old English town. Yeah. But uh, it seems we have all been duped by AI into taking these random tangents. And we will make of that what we will. Maybe we'll hate it, maybe we'll love it. No idea where we're going now. Did you notice that when we first set out, we had a rattling and a vibration underneath our car? Yeah. And then about, probably about four miles ago, we heard this big, big clunk of metal and this big thud like something falling off. And since then, the rattle and the vibration has just disappeared. <laughs> Have you know? Did you notice yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> oh yes. God. I keep thinking I've done something wrong, but it's, it's not me. <laughs> yeah. It's just horny people. I think we need to do something about the appearance of this car because we're rolling through these lovely, yeah. picturesque riverside towns. Yeah. Everyone's looking at us, these two hate it. Look how far away that guy got to the other side of the road <laughs> away from this car. That's what I'm saying, people hate us. Oh, we've got, oh no, we're going down through Boston on the water. Oh, and now it's really busy. The trouble is there's lots of pedestrians here and they yeah. don't have horns at the minute, so they can't actually tell us if they're horny yeah, or not. Yeah. After successfully ruining everyone's day in Borton on the Water with our car's disgusting looks and loud exhaust blow, we headed to AI's next stop. So where has AI decided that we just have to see next? Broadway Tower, obviously. So why'd it bring us here? I think it's one of the highest points in the Cotswolds. You could see a city from here. I don't know if it was Birmingham or something. God, it wasn't, was it? So you have to pay 30 quid for the privilege to go and get a better view of Birmingham. They got a nuclear bunker here though, so you can go underground to make sure that you definitely don't get a view of Birmingham. So that's good. <laughs> I'm hungry though. What do you fancy? It doesn't matter. The AI decides. <laughs> the day was getting on and we hadn't had lunch yet. So AI told us to get a burger from somewhere that surprised us. Diddley Squat Farm. Jeremy Clarkson's farm offers a unique and rustic burger experience. Right, make sure you back this car in. Don't want that message. Right. You don't want to honk if you're horny, like. Not particularly. Just shine off for everyone. That's the cue to get in the shop. Oh my God. What is your cheek? Uh, my child scratched me. <laughs> Not your cat. No, not my cat. my cat. My cat just got hit by a car. Oh, oh that's not funny. No, it's not funny. So thanks for bringing it up, actually, Ethan. Get your burger, shall we? <laughs> diddly squat and diddly squat is what we got because the kitchen's closed. AI, you bastard, you're at it again. I got a beer though. Yeah, have that on an empty belly. <laughs> with AI dropping the ball yet again with another closed establishment, we got back in Scarlet Steed and took stock of the car's condition after gathering up a fair few miles. I'm genuinely surprised. This thing's done really well. I thought, yeah. I thought it was, well, we're not home yet. Uh, the other thing is this has happened. 
But really, I mean, how important is a steering wheel to a car? That's one of the questions that we're here to answer, really. Yeah. Also, you said that the clutch feels like it's on its way out. Oh up. my God, it's hanging on for dear life. To answer this whole question, can AI plan a road trip? Yeah, it can, but it might not be the road trip you want to do. We have had a good time. We have though. had a good time. We have had a really good time. And yeah. all this stuff we would never have picked. Wow. In that case, is is very interesting. So now we have the semi-daunting prospect of a hundred plus mile trip back home. So long as we don't have to use the clutch in this manual car, I think we'll be all right. <laughs> as we left the country roads of the Cotswolds and rejoined the motorway, it wasn't long until we were met with another symphony of horns. Hey, who was that? This is Porsche. They're, oh, uh, that's what <laughs> They almost wiped us out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another one! It's a taxi. It's a taxi. Can you imagine getting a lift somewhere in a taxi and the car in front of you has honk if you're horny on the back of it <laughs> and your driver honks? That guy's getting a fat tip. Right? Yeah. Yeah. The M40 is riddled with fiends, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> That guy, that guy just nodded. <laughs> We've done it. Scarlet Steed has done it. AI's done it. The biggest winner here is definitely Scarlet Steed. Will we ever see this car again? Let us know if you want to see it. Not bad for a £400 car though. Nah, not bad. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to watch more videos, you can click here. You can subscribe here. I'm going to get a curry tonight. Another one. Are you actually? I actually am. You actually. It's Friday. He's going to get a curry.